Graph r equals 6 sine 3 theta, where theta is in between 0 and pi. Polar graphs are gorgeous. They're the most beautiful graphs that you see in math. They're also a nightmare to create. And the reason why they're a nightmare to create is because you have to put all these points all over the place, but when you finally connect things together, it just looks so very good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these bounds right here between zero and uh, pi, whatever that is. I'm going to use every single one of these numbers right here so I can get myself as complete of a graph as possible. Now, just a heads up. I am going to use a calculator to get my uh, numbers. You could do this without a calculator. It's possible, but I don't have a death wish, and so I'm not going to do it. Now, what I'm going to do is plug in all these thetas. What I'm not going to do is plug that right into a graphing calculator and try to trace this out, whatever it is. I'm going to be accurate but cheat a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm going to use all of these values from between 0 and pi and see what happens. So I'm going to plug in. I actually might need two rows of this. I actually might need two graphs. So let me make another one. All right. So I'm going to plug in 0, I'm going to plug in pi over 12, I'm going to plug in pi over 6, I'm going to plug in pi over 4, I'm going to plug in pi over 3, I'm going to plug in 5 pi over 12, and pi over 2. Like that. And then when I'm done that, I'm going to also plug in 7 pi over 12. I'm going to plug in 12. I did that right. I'm going to plug in 2 pi over 3. I'm going to plug in 3 pi over 4. I'm going to plug in 11 pi over 12. And just to have some fun, I'm going to plug in pi, even though supposed to. I'm doing it anyway. You can't stop me. So when I plug these into a graphing calculator or a scientific calculator or whatever, I'm not going to worry too much about the square roots and the blah blah blahs. I'm just going to do it. All right. Sine of zero is zero. So this becomes zero. This becomes 4.2 when I plug all that into my calculator. You become 6. Oh, look, 4.2 again. How about that? I wonder if that's going to continue being a pattern. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. You become 0. And you become, oh, weird, negative 4.2. How strange how all of this repeats. You become negative 6. Let me switch my color. You become 7 pi over 2, negative 4.2. You become 0, you become 4.2, you become 6, you become 4.2, and you, even though you don't really matter, become 0. Now, the fun part about this is graphing all those points and making sure you don't screw up. So let's do that. Uh, zero, zero means I start at zero and I haven't moved anywhere. Okay, I can handle that. Pi over 12 is this guy. 4.2 is going to be like here, so I'll put a dot like right there. Pi over 6, 6 is going to be that guy right there. The next one up, pi over 4, is going to be 4.2. Uh, what's next? Pi over 3 is going to be 0 again. Okay. 5 pi over 12 is going to be negative 4.2. So if regular 4.2 would be here, then I'm going to follow the line and make sure it's at negative 4.2, which is that guy right there. Uh, half a pi, half a pi is going to be negative 6, so negative 6 is that dot. Uh, here we are on this one. Uh, 7 pi over 2 is going to be negative 4.2, so that guy right there. 
three quarters of a pi over four is, oh, I forgot one. Uh, two pi over three is going to be zero. So that one right there. Two pi over three is going to be zero. So again, I'm repeating myself. Uh, five pi, or no, I missed one. Uh, three quarters of a pi is going to be 4.2 in the positive range. And so where was four? There was four, three quarters of a pi, 4.2. Then five pi over six is going to be six. So u. And then 11 pi over 12 is going to be 4.2. And back to zero, not that it even matters. So I, now I need to find a way to draw this. And this is where I'm afraid I'm going to fail, but we'll see what happens. Okay. Okay, this is a pretty looking thing. Now you see that I'm trying to make the motions of it. Okay, uh, this is a polar graph that's going to start at zero, zero, make this pretty little loop there. Okay, keep dumbing, coming down, keep dumbing down. Oh, Dr. Freud, I actually looks really good. And then come over here. And there you go. This creates what's called a rose, or as Rick Ross would say, rosé, because he's a rapper. I don't know what it means, but, you know, he said it, so that's how you graph a polar graph. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Pretty fun stuff. Pretty beautiful stuff. I like it.